Hello everyone and welcome to the next video in the series. In this video, I will take up the topic of pH and pOH as it relates to acidic and basic solutions. The reason for having the concepts of pH and pOH is that it, they make it easier for us to communicate the concentration of H plus and OH minus ions. As an example of this, uh, suppose that the concentration of H plus ions is 4.7 times 10 to the power of negative 3 moles per liter. We are going to make a change in the notation by requiring that the significant in the scientific notation representation should be written as one times, always one times. And, uh, and we play with the exponent to adjust the size. So if you change 4.7 to 1 times 10 to the power of, the exponent of 10 will become negative 2.33. Now this exponent has been rounded. Uh, but if you work out the two values, uh, you'll, get, uh, you, you'll find that the two values are close to each other. And of course, if you don't round the exponent when you work it out, uh, you'll get exactly equal values. Okay, so the advantage of uh, changing the notation in this way by writing always one times and adjusting the exponent uh, is, that, uh, is that now only one thing changes. Uh, if we take a look at these two concentrations, we'll find that in the top one, uh, we have uh, one times 10 to the power of negative 5.7 moles per liter. And for the bottom one, we have one times 10 to the power of negative 3.2 moles per liter. And you notice that in, in these two statements, the only thing that changed is 5.7 became 3.2. Everything else is the same in these two statements. On the left side for both of them, we have the concentration of H plus, then equals 1 times 10 to the power of negative. You notice that even the negative sign in the exponent is the same. And then here's the change. 5.7 became 3.2 and then again everything is the same moles per liter and so at some point people started uh, saying you know instead of saying the concentration of H plus is 1 times 10 to the power of negative 5.7 moles per liter uh, why don't we just say what the what the positive part of the exponent is why don't we just say 5.7 and if I say 5.7, then everybody knows that I'm talking about the concentration of H plus being 1 times 10 to the power of negative 5.7 moles per liter. And of course, if, uh, if the exponent or the positive part of the exponent changes to 3.2, then I can just say 3.2. And everybody will know that I'm, I'm saying that concent the concentration of H plus is 1 times 10 to the power of negative 3.2 moles per liter. Uh, now, we have to have a name for this uh, positive part of the exponent. And, uh, and because it's an exponent, which we also refer to as power, we are going to call it the power of, and then the name of the entity whose concentration we are measuring. In this case, hydrogen, or H. So this becomes the power of hydrogen, or pH for short. P is lowercase. H, which is the symbol for hydrogen, is capitalized. So we write P, lowercase, capital H. And of course, if the concentration that we are measuring is the concentration of OH minus, then we call it POH, the power that relates to the concentration of OH minus ions. Okay, so now I can say pH is 5.7, and everybody knows that what I'm actually saying is that the concentration of H plus is 1 times 10 to the power of negative 5.7 moles per liter. And in the case of the second statement, in place of the longer, the concentration of H plus is 1 times 10 to the power of negative 3.2 moles per liter. I just say that the pH is 3.2. Now with this comes uh, our next formula. Uh, because we have agreed to call the positive part of the exponent of 10 uh, as pH, then we can say that the concentration of H plus is 1 times 10 to the power of negative pH in place of uh, 
the 5.7 I put down pH now so you can replace pH with any value that you want and uh, one times is dropped uh, or can be dropped uh, and the unit we usually drop that as well and we end up with the formula for pH that relates pH to the concentration of H plus uh, and, uh, and the formula is that the concentration of H plus ions is equal to 10 to the power of negative pH now, if we are talking about the concentration of OH minus ions, then of course we write down the concentration of OH minus ions is equal to 10 to the power of negative POH. Okay, so these are two uh, other formulas that we uh, use very commonly with uh, when working with acidic and basic solutions. Uh, now, you notice that the two formulas are pretty uh, identical. They are they're really, really similar, I should say. Uh, the only difference is that the substance changed from H plus to OH minus, and the exponent uh, changed from pH to POH. Uh, but if you know how to work with one of them, of course, uh, you can take the same steps when you work with the other one. Uh, most important is to notice that uh, it's a small change in pH has a major effect on the concentration of H plus ions. And keep in mind that in, in, when it comes to applications uh, in, in physical systems, biological systems, and so on, in the end, what we care about is how many H plus ions we have, uh, what the concentration of H plus ions is. Uh, and pH is a quick way to tell us about the concentration of H plus ions. And because pH is an exponent, and the base is 10, uh, you should keep in mind that every time the exponent goes up by 1, you will be either multiplying by 1 more 10, or dividing by 1 fewer 10 if the exponent of 10 is negative. And in all cases, uh, the value of, of the concentration of H plus goes up 10 times. So again, if the exponent, not pH on its own, but the exponent, if negative pH increases by 1, then the concentration of H plus goes up 10 times. Uh, and, uh, and of course, because pH is only the positive part of the exponent, if the exponent goes up by 1, then pH on its own has to go down by 1. And so in the end, uh, if you have an increase in pH by 1, so pH goes up by 1, negative pH goes down by 1. Concentration of H plus decreases by a factor of 10. And if pH goes down by 1, then negative pH goes up by 1. And the concentration of H plus increases 10 times. So that's most important to keep in mind, that a small change in pH means a large change in the concentration of H plus ions. Even a change of 1 in pH will imply that the concentration of H plus either went up 10 times or down 10 times, depending on whether pH goes down or up. Uh, and if pH changes by 2, then concentration of H plus changes uh, 100 times. Okay, our last formula is pH plus pOH is equal to 14. And let's see where that comes from. Now here I've got a table uh, with columns for the concentration of H+, plus, the concentration of OH-, minus, pH, and pOH. And let's say we have the values 10 to the power of negative 6 for the concentration of H+, plus, and 10 to the power of negative 8 for the concentration of OH-. Minus. So that means that pH is 6 and pOH is 8. Now, let's say that the concentration of H plus goes up 10 times. Keep in mind, going from negative 6 to negative 5 is going up. So if the concentration of H plus goes up 10 times, according to the formula that we talked about in the previous video, the concentration of OH minus has to go down 10 times. And, uh, and up 10 times in the case of uh, H plus means 6 becomes 5, so pH goes down by 1. And in the case of OH minus, uh, the exponent uh, or the positive part of the exponent, POH, goes up by 1. So you notice that if one of them goes down by 1, the other one goes up by 1, 5 and 9. And for that reason, this is, this is exactly what, uh, if, you, if you recall, inverse superposition problems are like. One value goes up by a certain amount, the other one goes down by the same amount. And in this case, we get 5 and 9 for pH and POH. 
And what we notice is that uh, because of this kind of relationship, uh, the sum, of course, doesn't change. That's the property that we have for inverse superposition problems. The sum of the two quantities will uh, remain the same. And that gives me pH plus pOH is equal to 14. Thank you very much for watching this video, everyone. In the next one, I will tell you about a couple of applications of these formulas.